Okay, I have to continue this here. So you have Abraham. You have Abraham as the uh, picture of the father. Isaac as a picture of the son. And Jacob as the picture of the spirit of God, which... Uh, the fruit of the spirit. So you've got father, son, spirit, and the spirit brings us, uh, leads us into all truth. He opens up the understanding with Jesus and the father to understand what God has said. Yes, God has said this. So anyway, um, so it, it shows it pleased the father to bruise him. The only, the only one who can really say this was the Spirit of God that, that had the mind of God. Because God has said, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. He's going to die. So the seed of the woman dies. But the seed of the serpent won't accept this. They think in the natural. They're of the things of man because they're not of the things of God. The things of God is saying this, that the seed of the woman will die because of sin. That's what happened here. We disobeyed God. We disobeyed. We disobeyed. So God brings in the seed of the woman to die, to redeem, to redeem us back to right standing with God in his seed, in this seed. God knew this seed. How did God know this seed? Because he was with God from the beginning. And this is what, uh, this is what the rest of the seed needs to receive. The seed of the serpent will never receive this. They're with God saying, Hath God said, this book is corrupt, this book is, is not right. Well, it's already proven by evidence, like I said, by the Dead Sea Scrolls. And even if we don't have that, we have the Spirit of God leading us into all truth. And the all truth is bringing us back to the scriptures and bringing us to who this seed is. And then so, uh, going back to Isaiah... We get more pictures, but you know, I could go to I can go to Psalms too, where it clearly shows us this. But Isaiah just tells us who's this seed. Oops. The holy arm is the salvation of our God. God brings the seed who is his holy arm for the salvation of mankind because they sinned. And it says this, that he'll, he'll die. And see, he's the lamb. That's the Passover. That's the fulfillment of Passover. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief when you shall make his soul an offering for sin. See, that goes, takes us back to Genesis. For he shall bear their iniquities. And then he's going to make intercession. And he bears the sin of many. That's the whole. That's uh, the seed of the woman bears the sins or the the flourishing of the, of the first seed, which are the, the seed. We are the seed of the seed. But he doesn't bear the sins of the, 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 the cursed Satan. 
and his seed. They don't get redeemed. This is for the seed of the woman and the seed that comes out. And he makes intercession for the transgressors. That was us. See? So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this in Jesus' name. Um, oh, I, I did want to show you um, Romans. Well, I guess, well, let's just, let's just go to Revelation because I'm, I'm, I've only got like five more minutes left on this one. It only gives me a limited time because this isn't live. Revelation 12, 7, I believe. Revelation 12, 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. See, that's the seed of the serpent. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And then you go to uh, 17. You can read all this, of course, but um, 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep that this is who's her seed after the seed came, because it already talked about the, uh, the man child, which is Christ. <clears throat> and yes, God hath said, and no, this is not corrupt because it's about God bringing uh, the seed of the woman back to himself, back in right standing, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. What's the testimony of Jesus Christ? He, he came. The testimony of Jesus Christ is starts with Moses that the seed will come and die because of sin. And Isaiah tells us um, that he'll come and he'll be an offering for sin. Wherever Isaiah is, it's in there. Isaiah. Jeez. <laughs> Way over here. Okay. Oops. Right, right there. Isaiah. Let me clear it up for you guys. Isaiah. So what Moses says, Isaiah says, and David says, and Samuel says. So you've got three, four witnesses. Saying that the seed will die he will be an offering for sin. He will, uh, he will be the salvation of God. And the, all the nations in the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The only one that doesn't see is, is, is Satan. You know, he's, he's, the, he's the one at, at warfare. He is the one at warfare. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keeps the commandments of God. And the commandments of God, it's, it's not saying, oh, okay, well, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, you can't eat this. The commandments of God is what the Spirit of God is showing us what's in this word. It goes back to God saving his people with Genesis, with Moses. So anyway, this is about to end. So, um, and I have the testimony of Jesus Christ. That he came, he died, he was buried, and he was resurrected on the third day. And he is Lord, and he is our Lord and our God. Come to Christ, you all. The seed of the woman. Come to Christ in Jesus' name.